Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to another vlog. I'm so excited to be back. Um, it's been, let's see, it is week three. Um, it, it was my second payday today, so that's exciting. And I am just kind of gonna fill you guys in on my travel nurse journey so far. So it's been amazing. This has honestly been Dare I say the best job I've ever had? I mean, it's the people here, the facility, the cases I'm getting to do, everything has just been really new and fun and exciting. I'm gonna see if I can put you guys somewhere. I need to figure out this. I've never really vlogged in Ryan's car before, I don't think. Um, but yeah, everything's been going really great and I'm excited for more to come so um sorry it's early and i am like what am i even trying to say um it's about 6 15 i'm heading in to work it is friday and also payday which i already said and tomorrow we're going camping which is going to be super nice we've done a lot in like the greater seattle seattle area thus far but we haven't gone into the mountains or into nature much so i'm really excited for that and i did get all of your questions and i'm hopefully going to get to those in this video if it's not in this vlog it'll be a separate sit down video i was supposed to do it on my day off and the time just got away from me we ended up going to see oppenheimer it was just a whole thing which was really good by the way but sitting in a theater for three hours and 15 minutes and i had done pilates in my mouth. I'd done Pilates a couple hours before and man I was like so restless I literally had restless like syndrome I was like oh my god I can't do this yeah I think that's most of the updates I have a 10 hour shift today the usual 645 to 515 it's been a little bit slower census wise uh, yesterday I just gave breaks all day so really can't complain actually twice this week I've given breaks I think so it has not been bad at all and I'm really just yeah really enjoying the people enjoying the surgeons enjoying all the residents and the fellows and um, getting to learn a lot and do a whole bunch of fun stuff so last night we went to a Seattle Seahawks game our friend got free tickets and that was awesome so it was just the first preseason game but it was still so fun to be in uh, NFL stadium again and just like the energy was so good we're so excited for football season so get excited for that hope you guys are all excited for that Oof, that car is coming in hot I have also noticed that drivers here are really horrible like the drivers in Washington are horrible horrible and I don't know what it is no offense to anyone that lives in Washington or sorry Seattle because I don't I can't speak to the rest of Washington but my goodness the drivers here just don't give a you know what okay I think those are the updates I work and just feeling super grateful and excited for another weekend in our life in Seattle. I think I gave you guys most of the updates. We really don't have many updates other than yesterday I did speak with the travel nurse coordinator lady and um, she is starting to do extensions for any contracts ending in October which is when my contract ends so I'm trying to figure out if we're extending if what we're doing so I will keep you guys updated on that my initial thought is that I'm going to extend because I feel like I'm just starting to get the hang of things and it would be really nice to stay a bit longer and just I don't know keep kind of building relationships with people here in case I ever want to come back in the future so that's kind of what I'm leaning towards and I will let you guys know how that process works and if you're confused on the whole extending um, your contract thing I can explain that a little bit more but basically if they offer you an extension um, then you can choose to extend your contract for it's my understanding any amount of time I'm actually gonna go in and chat with her today but 
it's my understanding it's really any period of time as long as obviously the hospital approves it and then you still just have to get your time off pre-approved and that you can do up to a, a 13 week like another 13 week contract you can do six weeks you can do five weeks four weeks whatever you want um so that's kind of what we are leaning towards and just trying to figure out how long and if we for sure want to do it and all those things so i'll keep you guys updated on that after i talk with her today and what else we've been trying so many good restaurants maybe i can do a little um run through of all the places that we've absolutely loved i've been trying to tag stuff on my instagram and save it so if you guys are interested in just more of like the living in seattle uh content you can definitely go over to instagram because i post try to post a bunch of daily um things that we're loving and trying and doing here so definitely go over there and follow along the journey and oh i know what i wanted to say so um Basically, I've been getting chauffeured to work every day except for today. This is the first time, well, no, not the first time. Maybe the, it's actually the second time I've driven myself to work. So the way it's been working out, my sister-in-law works with me on Mondays and Tuesdays. So she's just been driving me Mondays and Tuesdays. And then she works 12s and I work 10s. So she obviously can't take me home Mondays and Tuesdays. So I've been taking what's called the link home, which is like, for you New York people or if you're just familiar even in Colorado with the um oh my gosh what is it called the light rail there we go um it's similar to the light rail it goes underground in some parts of the city and then other parts it's above ground so it's not like fully a subway or a or like the light rail um it's kind of a little bit of both but it's super safe and um it's been amazing because i've just been taking that home every day from work and rye's been picking me up at the little link station so that he doesn't have to sit in any traffic i don't have to sit in any traffic going home so it's been really nice to do that and um so that's what i've been doing every day but i feel like i've had no time just myself like I'm constantly around other people or I'm getting driven to work and I'm chatting with my sister-in-law or with Rye um and so this was the first day I was like I'm gonna drive myself because Rye really wanted to sleep in today he's off work on this lovely Friday so I figured I would bring my camera along and chat with you guys on my way to work like I used to do if you're an OG you probably remember the throwback vlogs of when I would be driving to my first hospital and I would have you guys in the car all the time we'd do long car chats and I just thought I'd bring it back. So, uh, anyways, okay, yeah. So then I'm off Wednesdays, and then Thursdays and Fridays, I've just been having Rye drive me to work because in the mornings it takes us like eight to ten minutes to get down to work. The commute is super quick and easy, um, but it's the way homes right during rush hour that the way on the way homes. It's on the way home during rush hour that it takes forever. So it's been really nice to be able to have Rye drop me off Thursdays and Fridays, take the link home. But again, today I just wanted to drive and Rye will have to just wing it with no car. Um, and then I can drive myself home later. So, and I will sit in traffic, but that's okay. <laughs> I kind of miss driving as weird as it sounds and miss like alone time in the car. So um, every once in a while I'm, I'm like, I let, I'd like to drive today and take the car. I miss like listening to my podcasts and I used to have a much longer commute to work so that was kind of just my me time and so I'm getting that today but I'm hanging out with y'all okay I think those are most of the updates it's really nice getting paid every Friday I have to say it is like such a luxury and definitely something I could get used to so I know one of the questions that you guys asked that I will address all of in um, the Q&A. But one of the questions you guys asked was, how long do we think we will do this for? And honestly, I'm thinking a while, as long as I can handle it. And right now, it's been amazing. So I don't really foresee that stopping anytime soon. I could see us getting tired of moving a lot, which again is I think one of the reasons why it seems so nice to want to extend right now because it just seems so nice to not have to move all of our stuff again. But actually, we are moving. We're like moving slightly into Emmy's house and my sister-in-law's house in two more weeks. 
Um, so I'll vlog that process and let you guys know how that goes, but it's kind of why we didn't fully unpack everything prior to um, prior to moving in to the one that we're in now. Like we kind of just left everything as is, so. Anyways, okay, I'm pulling into work. I will catch you guys after, and I hope you guys have an amazing day, and I will see you in a little bit. Bye. Um, I left you guys off when we were vlogging yesterday on our way to work, and I didn't really check back in last night, but we... Oh, we went to this head scratch spa. If you guys, if you do follow on Instagram, then you probably saw the photo I posted of Ryan's hair. Okay, just in case you could, didn't hear any of that. We're on our way to go camping. We're in the car. There's Chippy Dog. <laughs> in his little hammock. And make sure the boys are done. There we go. We, I left off yesterday. I was at work vlogging or going to work and didn't vlog any last night we went to this head spa and they massaged the heck out of our scalps they did like what do you mm -hmm. think babe it's like ooh. it's an hour of shampoo condition scalp love what is happening take okay. seven <laughs> take five um they basically start and just start massaging your head they have like all these different tools that they use they brush it out a zillion times they exfoliate your whole scalp with different things like a little legit scrub on your head then they shampoo condition they massage your face your neck your shoulders oh my gosh it was so good I'll put the name down below if you guys are local to Seattle because it was I would highly recommend um, and it was an hour worth of massage wipe this off better and yeah right <laughs> they blow dried his his mullet and he ended up looking like Billy Ray Cyrus at the end it was so funny so I'll put the photo on for you guys if you missed it on Instagram but yeah we are going camping in um what is it called Sco Skyhomish 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 something like that um it's called Beckler River Campground and we're going with our Ryan's best friend Chris and his girlfriend Cheyenne and then my sister-in-law Emmy. So it should be fun. We just went to the grocery store and got some goods for camping and we're just going for one night. It's gonna be fun, honey. Mm -hmm. We're finally getting out in the nature of Seattle or Washington, I should say. So we're driving uh, east right now. Yep. And whatever mountain range this is right here is spectacularly beautiful so I will show you guys a little clip once we get a little closer because it's so gorgeous so that's what we're doing Japan you weren't what do you have to say oh my god you're so beautiful I just love you so much <laughs> all right y'all we will catch you guys in a little bit Maybe we'll do some camp vlogging. Show you around. Oh, my hair is still so soft. It's so poofy. <laughs> my hair is really soft too though. I think this is the softest my hair's ever been in my whole life. And I was telling Emmy and Ryan last night when we left, I was like, I probably just exfoliated all of the dead skin. This is so gross. But if you guys, if you wear extensions, then you probably get it. Um, but since I've had extensions for so long, they probably scrubbed all of the like dead skin particles. And sometimes when you have extensions in for a long time, it can make your scalp really dry. It's just kind of a, I think it's just from the pulling, um, kind of a side effect. So it felt amazing to just have my extensions out and my head just really exfoliated it. I highly recommend. Okay. We've got 48 minutes left of our drive. So we'll see you guys when we get there. chopping wood here's the tent here's the dogs okay. Hi, it's big. 
Okay. What you doing, big sexy? Getting power. <laughs> we don't need that thing. Oh, we definitely do. Chopping wood. Is it? Chef it's Chris. this little thing that you blow up. Like you have, like, it up. We got some brats and some oh, ribeyes. Yeah. So yeah, beautiful. Yeah, Chris, run this yeah. way with that. <laughs> so we can get, run this way with this so Maddie can get on the camera. It's so funny. Oh, with the fit, with the couch? Is that the vloggy camera? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, Chris. <laughs> How does it stay? Oh, you have to close it right away? You get enough difference. <laughs> this is a camping couch. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> You're almost there. Keep up the good work. <laughs> That's so funny. I think you should go for a 20 meter dash. You, once you fold it, it tightens up. Oh yeah. yeah you can stop right now. Nice! Look at that thing. Pretty sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Look at these trees. It's so pretty here. So pretty. And then the river is just right over there. So that's where we were earlier. In the river. Can't really see it because it's not focusing. There you go. Doing great, Christopher. <laughs> okay, we'll show you the final product here in a second. Oh. I am a dodo and didn't really bring anything for camping. Thank goodness Chris and Cheyenne have stuff that we need. But all the stuff. I was not prepared at all. <laughs> we didn't pack that with our moving stuff, so. No. We're just winging it. See y'all later.